video. I have been on a fitness and health journey and I do not like working out in public gyms, okay? I just don't like it. I don't wanna be worried about other people being there. I don't like the commute to it. You're all sweaty. I would rather just work out at home. So I have been working on my dream at home gym and fitness space. And today we're gonna to show you guys what I put in my gym to get the dream workout space. Unfortunately, these pieces of equipment just didn't make the cut. Um, please excuse our storage room. All right, we listed these for 200 and we have someone coming to look at them. Oh my gosh, my elliptical is here. I'm literally so excited. This is heavy. As you can see here, it's recommended that two people handle this, but I'm a fitness girly, so I got it in myself. <laughs> so we've moved the new elliptical into the exercise room, and by we, I mean my fiance, I did have to get his help. This thing is <laughs> heavy, which is good. Okay, so this is what we're working with once we've got the box out. This actually I feel like is pretty compact, which is good because we don't have a ton of room in our exercise room. Okay, this is what it looks like out of the box. We have not put anything together yet. Okay, so we have all the pieces. There is a little bit of damage on this piece because it was not fully wrapped up in the packaging. For the price, since this is relatively cheap, I think it's fine, but it's something to definitely keep in mind if you're looking for like a higher end look. Okay, this is the elliptical fully assembled. Okay, so now that we have our Morocco elliptical put together, I just wanted to show you guys how mobile this elliptical is. There are wheels on the front, so as far as like moving it around, it's super easy. Like it was hard for me to lift the box as it was, but with the wheels and with it put together, you could really put it anywhere you wanted. I think as far as like an elliptical goes for a smaller space, or if you're just looking for an elliptical that's lower cost, because elliptical's and gym equipment in general really break the bank, I think this is a really good option. And even though it's so lightweight and movable, I don't feel like you compromise with your stability when you're actually on the elliptical. So that's good because you don't want something too light that you don't feel stable on it. I feel perfectly stable. I believe it's approved for like up to 350 pounds. There are multiple resistance levels. So I think it's a really good elliptical just for the small space or for something that's time to break your budget. If you're interested, I will include the link for this specific elliptical in the description below. Final product. 
All right, so today the dumbbell rack came in. We are gonna pick up the dumbbells here in a few days, but we're gonna put this together to start. We're gonna put it right over here where we have some space, and then pretty soon I'm gonna get this cleaned up as well. Hey, I'm currently at Rogue Fitness here at Curbside Pickup, waiting for our new weights for the workout room. All right, so we have a ton of weights, and if you think this is all, you're wrong, because there's a lot back here as well. So, excited to get these weights in the workout room. Okay, we're so close to being done with the makeover, but last is this. So we have just like a bunch of random stuff on here, and then we have old t-shirts that my fiance uses as like rags and then when they're dirty it goes in there so it's a little chaotic so we're gonna clean this up honestly i don't even know what some of the stuff is isn't this nice it's weights that i've never used that i got for christmas this desperately needed cleaned <laughs> I picked up these bins from Marshalls and it's a set of four. They, now that I'm here, might be a little small, but my plan was to put the t-shirts in these instead of just like having them on the shelves just to like look cuter. We'll see. Okay, so I definitely could have gotten like taller bins, but that's a problem for another day. We made it work. I have clean and dirty towels. And I have two more bins. So of course we need some hydration. Why did this fit so perfectly? Final touch is this mirror because obviously we need to see our gains or our losses. So get yourself a good mirror. Okay, we hung up the TV and by we, I mean my fiance, I did nothing because if I'm doing some cardio, I wanna be watching YouTube. It's an, it's an essential. Okay, so we got the weight rack and the weights all prepared. These had so much cardboard. We are going to be taking recycling out for weeks, but they were very well packaged. These are all from Road Fitness, but this holder, this weight holder, the weight rack, can fit non Road Fitness weights as well. These are great. These are wonderful quality. I'm very, very excited. I need to start lifting weights more. Okay, so you walk into the gym and the first thing we have is this huge mirror. I really like mirrors. I like to take progress photos and if you want to just watch your form, I think it's a good addition to a gym. Eventually, I'd like to have this whole wall filled with mirrors. That's going to be expensive, so we're starting with this mirror I found on Amazon for a few hundred dollars, which definitely gets the trick done. So this big open space right when you walk in is multi-purpose. I have a yoga mat so you can lay out in yoga mats and do yoga. You can stretch, you can do arm workouts. It's really a pretty open spot just to do multiple things. I have jump ropes as well. So if you want to jump rope, all those things can happen here in this space. So back here in the corner, we have a spot that my fiance is going to be using a lot more than I am. We have weights, which I would like to start incorporating more weights. Right now, I'd just mainly be doing cardio, but I think as an important part of a finished journey, I want to start doing some more strength training and a pull-up bar, which I cannot do a pull-up, so I'm not even going to pretend to do one for you guys. And then when we walk over here, we have the cardio equipment. I have the Maroc elliptical, which 
I put this on the outside because it is the easiest to move. This is super movable, so if I want to have more space further away from the treadmill, if there's multiple people working in it, I can definitely scoot this over. Or if we need more space over here, we can scoot it closer in as well. So I thought it was a good machine to have on the outside. The treadmill, not nearly as movable, so have it right here. It's probably just going to stay put mainly. And I have these two situated in front of the TV. And then on the final end, I do have the row machine, which again, is not something I'm really going to be moving much. So finally, in the back here, we have just some extra stuff for working out. We have the clean and dirty towels for using for sweat, which we just use kind of old t-shirts. We have a Gatorade in case we need some electrolytes. We have two different yoga mats and then just some extra weights that we've had here as well that don't fit on the weight rack that are just kind of miscellaneous. So all these are going to be available. It kind of makes me feel like I'm in a real gym having just this extra supply station. Well, there you have it. This is my at-home gym. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along my fitness and weight loss journey. I'm down about 25 pounds currently and have a lot more to go, but I'm really enjoying figuring out what works for me and really having fun in the process. All right, thanks so much, guys. Bye.